Nietzsche by me, and this is T Sakura, and you're watching Pokecast. Alright, for the fourth comic, he in the vehicle makes the hero. I got Tank Girl Skid Marks, issue two from Titan uh, Books. And. Flat out, this one just makes me laugh. There's so much humor in here that I've grown to love, and Tank Girl always fight. I mean, just. The way that the, the, the writers and the artists did it, there's always something humorous happening to where you just laugh and you can't help it. And that's one thing I really enjoyed about this comic. Um, well, basically in this one, um, there is a huge race going on. Whoever wins, wins a buttload of money. I think that's actually what they say in here too. <laughs> uh, with more colorful words, but still, a lot of money is what's won. Tank Girl is trying to win a race because apparently Barney, her best friend, she was in a severe accident to where she cannot get the money, she's unable to get the surgery that she needs to survive. So, it starts off, Tank Girl wakes up, um, and apparently she was in some type of accident, or someone kidnapped her, my guess is somebody kidnapped her, and having the bean tank girl had to hit her over the head with something very hard to knock her out, is my guess. She wakes up in the mansion, she sees a fancy place, and then gets food served to her from this guy. So it's very unique. Meanwhile, uh, Booga is freaking out because he doesn't know where Tank Girl is. And he smashed too much booze. Luckily for him, uh, Jet Girl, yes, that's her name, Jet Girl, <laughs> pulls up and is like, hey, what, you know, what's, what's the problem? Where's Tank Girl? And he's so smashed, he has no idea what's going on. Luckily, with some help from the preventers, they were able to find a camera, which showed some pretty, dis well, showed at least one disturbing photo of a mad guy. And after Tank Girl is in the car with his madman again, falls off a cliff and is watching for her doom to happen, she goes to a flashback and that's where we actually get to see the origin of how they portray it, of how Tank Girl met up with Barney. It's a unique... <laughs> okay, because of just how whacked, you know, the world of Tank Girl is. Apparently, the high school that she went to was full of these rich snobs. So, you had two different uh, gangs. You have one from one side of the city, one from the other side of the city. Tank Girl, however, was her own gang. By herself. Because she hated the whole thing. New kid moves in, Barney, who everybody's trying to show, hey, you need to join one of the gangs, otherwise you're not welcome to school. And through the help of Tank Girl, was able to not only help Barney get set free from this huge fight, but unlocking her potential of being the most dangerous girl at school as well. It's just so much wacky stuff happens in here. It was fantastic to read just because, I mean, you have Jet Girl, who is also in the race. She's uh, trying to help out and uh, just does her thing. Well, I guess she's this crazy tank girl. I mean, there's so many unique characters in here to where you're able to enjoy the um, just bewilderment, I guess would be the right word, of how they're able to create such bizarre characters to where you're just able to enjoy every single aspect of them. Even when, you know, you have the villain who's kidnapped Tank Girl and brings her back to the race. You know, it's just things like that. You actually are able to enjoy every little character they introduce and actually give at least a few panels to where you can really know the person. And that's one thing I really enjoy about uh, reading this. And it just shows me just how much, you know, the movie was absolutely fantastic after especially reading this comic and just seeing the similarities of what they were able to do is, well, we're going to make this movie. We don't care exactly how bad it will look. We need to make it as original as possible. 
and that's I guess well, one thing that made this comic nice is that you're being able to see the race, you're being able to meet each of the characters that they are presenting in this comic during this part of the story, because it's a four-part uh, story, and <laughs> just I don't know. I just, I just I think I just loved how um, there is one scene where uh, Jet Girl she's trapped behind two vehicles and they're on a, they're on a, a ledge. So they really can't pass anybody. She takes off the jet engine off of her Volkswagen Beetle, straps it onto her back, flies over the um, English double-decker bus, and sees a hippie van, grabs the, uh, the sign on top of the hippie van, crashes right through the bus, and then they drive the Volkswagen Beetle through the hole that she made in the bus, and then over the uh, hippie van to get in front of both of them. It just sounds like something, something from Wacky Racers, in all honesty. And I think that's one thing that, that also helped me enjoy this comic, is that just so much bizarreness going on that you just enjoy it. And I'm very pleased that with Tank Girl, they didn't care. They just made what they wanted. They made a comedy with some good action, a lot of humor, and just what if this could really happen type uh, feel in atmosphere to the comic. And that's one thing I was very pleased about this. Plus, it's always good to have an origin of showing um, how somebody is introduced to somebody because since Barney is an important person of, you know, of this comic, since she's the um, final thing about the comic, if Tank Girl wins, Barney will live. If she loses, Barney will die. So it's very good to actually see, you know, trying to... Um, bring the readers to fall in love with the more of the character by showing her origin story uh, when she actually meets up with the infamous Tank Girl. So that, I thought that was really nice of them to do because that really brings you more to the comic on a personal level and be able to enjoy it more like that. So that was one thing I really was pleased with this uh, particular one. And also finally showing Tank Girl how she always seems to, well, to what I've seen in, in here and in the movie, get caught somehow but is able to get out of it and then <laughs> somehow survive so you know it's it's really nice about that and I really like how they show her falling to her death I'll leave it at that because you know it's only part two so without a doubt she's gonna survive but I don't want to tell you how so if you guys are looking for a great uh, comic for something that's just bizarrely humorous definitely pick this one up. It's um, definitely going uh, into my top favorites of just bizarreness. And I'm very pleased to have this one. Give, give it a read. It's just going to be a good one to make you guys laugh. So this has been T. Sakura doing the uh, review on Taint Girl Skid Marks, issue 2. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Ciao and sayonara.